Guys, Daddy Six from Black Fox Networks uh, here with the SGA attachment, the surface grinder attachment, as well as our BAP Black Fox One machine. Um, it's built up as the Pro model, which will hit our website in uh, early October. Um, getting some built up right now, so if you want them, just email us, go find us on Instagram, hit us with a DM, and reserve your machine. They'll be about uh, 3500 for the full build. That includes VFD, all the built-in controls going to the base, so it's a really slick, slick machine. Uh, On-the-fly variable tension, so really cool. Um, but in this video, I just wanted to show you actually this um, desk I've been testing out. So this desk, uh, it is a up-down desk. Um, this one was, I got the base off of Amazon. I can put the links uh, on our website as well as down below. Um, and then I've kind of been playing around with it, trying to get it stiff enough to use with the grinder. Um, you can see when I turn the grinder on here in a bit, um, the grinder itself is very, very stable, but as you put more weight on top of, let's say, for example, something easy to visualize is like a flagpole. So if you put a huge weight at a flagpole and you start pushing on that weight, it's going to sway more because you have more weight up there and it's going to cause these vibrations. With this grinder being about 150 pounds, um, the table is okay to lift it, it can lift 250 pounds. Uh, but the problem is, is you have a lot of weight up top and as you push on this weight, when you grind, it does have a tendency to move. See, I'm, I'm used to using uh, this table here. So it's, uh, it's set up very high for when I was doing woodworking back in the day. And so it's easier to use chisels and stuff and, and get, get the wood close to you for hand tools. Um, it is built into the wall, so this is a very stout table. It doesn't move at all uh, unless you bring the whole wall down. But this one, um, being up here so high, it does have a tendency to move. The grinder itself is very smooth. As you start pushing on it, you can kind of see it moves. Um, it was worse when I had this single piece of plywood down here. This is kind of a cheaper plywood, so it's really flexy and bendy. So what I decided to do is kind of add uh, these two inch stiffeners in here all the way across, boxed in, get a bit more section for strength, and um, as well as provide a nice little cubby for you know, all, of, all of the attachments that you have and, and wheels and uh, make it a nice little place to put things. Um, but so far, um, getting past the, the bendiness of it, because right now the tabletop is stiff, it's now pushing on the legs. Um, you can kind of see that it still moves quite a bit. So I'm not quite used to that, but I think I may be able to live with it. Kind of built it up as a show, show machine, show table for um, conferences that we do, so we bring, bring it to blade show. Um, I think it's really nice because, you know, everybody's different height, size, so you can get the machine down, visualize how you're grinding on it. I think it's just going to be worth it for shows at least. That may make its way into my office inside the house if I decide that I get annoyed with, with how tipsy it is. So, but it's pretty cool. You can uh, set four different channels. So right now I've set, got a preset at one, so it's probably going to go all the way up and then lock, and then you can set four different ones. If I want it to go down, um, if you just want to manually tune it in, you can just hit these little buttons here, up or down. It um, goes down to about, uh, I think this one is about 28 inches at the lowest on top of this, and I added another two uh, about three inches, so it's about 31 inches to the lowest. So maybe if you're sitting, you want to do some sitting and grinding, it may get down there for you. You have to have a kind of a, a taller chair, maybe a bench or a, a, a stool or something. Let's go ahead and bring it up because I like to grind usually when I stand. So right about there. So what I want to do now is uh, kind of demonstrate the uh, Black Fox 1 Pro electric tensioning system and switching over tools from the SGA to our contact platen. All right, so to do that, um, you gotta turn on the machine power, uh, and then I can use the electric tensioning system. Decrease tension, take off the belt. I'm going to remove the surface grinder attachment. It's gonna set it vertical. Add the belt back on. To do this, you just want to keep it loose until you get the belt on. So it's a nice good tension to get belts on and off. Maybe give it a little extra there. Lock it into place and then increase the tension. Now this here is going to be hard to see on the video, 
but it's got graduated marks, and every mark's about 10 pounds of force. So as you increase the, the tension, you can see that these marks are going to disappear or line up with the bottom of this. So I usually go to about 40 pounds, like between 30 and 40 pounds of force, um, and then you're ready to rock and roll. So now what I want to do is kind of show the grinder running with this tabletop, and then I've got a piece of uh, scrap steel here, we'll just kind of push on it so you can kind of see what it does when you're working with it. This is actually the first time that I really put some force into this attachment on this desk and actually it's not, it's not too bad. You know, I think I may keep it out here. Um, if you really let the belt do all the work and you're not really pushing on it too hard, it's actually pretty stable and it doesn't bounce around as much as I thought it would, so that's actually kind of nice. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys have any other questions about the desk, I'll be doing a tutorial because I think it's, it's kind of a neat idea. Um, so some of you that want to have, you know, uh, different positions and really dial that in, I think this is a good option. I think the total build, I think for the base, it was around 200 bucks, including everything. Um, it's a good solid base. I really need to do a lot more testing to see how the motors hold up in a dusty environment. That is one concern that I have. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, I'll put up the uh, tutorial on how to where to purchase the plywood and stuff. You know, I got this all from Home Depot and then I had some hickory scraps that I made for these stiffeners in here. Um, you could use anything uh, really uh, on that, some sort of one inch wood, that's all that they are, one by two. And then uh, be able to put your plywood top on top and then that stiffens that whole section up. And then from there down, you know, it's just kind of up to the sheet metal that they use. And But they, these people, um, uh, I can't remember the name of them, I've got their sticker around here somewhere, but um, they actually do a pretty good job underneath. You've got the motor, um, this is shortened up, so you, it's like 48 inches at the minimum that you can do. You can spread it out even further. I think it was up to, I want to say around 80 inches wide you could do. I can just, I just wanted it short. Um, that way your, your, your load is more concentrated if you were to spread the legs out. I would think that you would have more tipping um, keeping everything more compact, it would be more stable. Um, but some of you guys can try that, let me know how it goes. It's got uh, good wire routing, so I'll probably um, wire, do all the routing and stuff, make it look much cleaner uh, than it is. Um, all the components themselves are, are pretty good uh, coated. I kind of te checked the uh, slip joints on it, and the slip joints look, um, look really good, really tight. Uh, they got some shims in there that, that make it pretty tight. I was kind of playing around with it, trying to figure out where the wobble was. And uh, I think it was all, all on the tabletop that I had originally on there. Stiffening that up has really gotten rid of a lot of the wobble. And then from there, I think it's just based on putting this large mass on top of uh, these legs and at these two points of contact here, which, uh, which kind of is the problem wobble now. But as you can see, when I was pushing on it, you know, there isn't actually too much wobble, just when you're really pushing on it, even then, I mean, it's not too bad. I'm actually kind of surprised. The worst part is, is when you do the surface grinder, and you're going back and forth, you get a lot of momentum, you stop it, and you go this way, that's when it can get kind of wobbly, but you're kind of locked in with the surface grinder um, to, your, to your points of contact, so the whole thing's moving, so that doesn't necessarily affect your cut on the surface grinder. It's just when you're doing hand grinding, you you know, it's just moving on you. So, so if you guys have any questions, just email us, info at blackboxknifeworks.com. Check us out on Instagram. You can DM us there or Facebook. Um, so lots of different ways to contact us.